Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to open and edit a PDF file from Canva in Microsoft Word. This might be useful if you don't want to pay a subscription on Canva to edit your designs. To start, head to canva.com and go to Design in the left menu. If you already have a design that you want to download, then skip this part. Otherwise, search for whatever media you'd like to open in Word. We'll be downloading a YouTube thumbnail template. Now select a template from the list below. Let's use this one. Once you've selected a design, head up to the top right and click Share. Then go down and click Download. Next, head back up and click the drop-down under File Type, and select PDF Standard. Then hit Download. Once you've downloaded the PDF, head to Microsoft Word. And then click Open in the left menu. On Windows, click Browse. Or click on My Mac if you're using a Mac. Now locate, and select the PDF. Then hit Open. You may be asked to allow Word to open the PDF, but once it's finished converting to a Word document, you'll be able to edit the media. Here, we can click the text elements to edit them, or click and drag to move them to a different position. You can also click and drag the background elements. Even the small shape at the bottom can be moved to a different position. To edit the shape colors, head up to Shape Format at the top. Now you can change the shape color. You can even add gradients by selecting from a list, or hit more gradients to create a custom color blend. If you're making a YouTube thumbnail, you might have the image of a person in the foreground. To make your own, head to bing.com slash create. Here, sign in with your Microsoft account, and enter a prompt describing the person you want on the thumbnail. Also ask Bing to add a gray background color. Here we have four images to choose from. Click the one you want to use. Then right-click, and select Copy Image. Next, head to Photopia.com, which is a free image editor that is similar to Photoshop. Here, click File in the top left, and select New. Then Create. Now press Ctrl or Command and V to paste the image. To delete the background, select the Magic Wand tool in the left menu. Set the tolerance to 20, or to whatever works best for selecting the background. Then click anywhere on the background to select it. If some of the background is not selected, hold down Shift, and then click more areas until the whole background is selected. Once you've selected the background, hit Delete or Backspace on your keyboard to remove it. Now head to the background layer on the right, and hit the icon that looks like an eye. To save the image, head up to File. Then go to Export As, and choose PNG. Finally, name the file, and then hit Save. Once you've saved the file, head back to Word. Select the person, and then right-click. Now go to Change Picture, and select from a file. Next, locate and select the image you just saved, and hit Insert. To resize the image, click and drag the corners. And to reposition it, click and drag the image. When you're happy with the positioning, click away from the image, and single-click to select the whole template. Now press Ctrl or Command and C to copy it. We can now head back to Photopia, and create a new file. Here, paste the copied image. Then head up to File. Go to Export As. And then select JPEG or PNG. Finally, name the image. And then hit Save. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.